Hunger. Fun. Don't be scared to tap. <laughs> you seem like a natural. Whoa. All right, that's a little too, too realistic. Let's see you later, Lee. That was fun. Good job, Mark. You know, I, I kind of looked at those and I was like, hey, I think I think that there's something that's important here. I think the world is probably underestimating this. And I also think that we have the skills as a company to go grow these things to reach more than a billion people around the world. And because we've done that with the core Facebook experience, and I think that there's two skills there. There's the there's sort of the building the social experience, and then there's the helping to ramp up a, a network around that. And that's that I think is also a core competence. So, you know, I don't know what would have happened with Instagram, you know, if we hadn't bought it. I don't think it's guaranteed that it would have grown to be as big as it is. It's not like now we're not focused on social media. I mean, that's gonna be the bread and butter of what we do. That's the the core thing. Um, and our work to build the metaverse encompasses both building social experiences and building these future platforms like um, VR and AR. It's gotta be both, right? We have to weave all of these new technologies through these social apps and, you know, cause you wanna be able to jump into the metaverse and a 3D experience from your Instagram feed. You know, one of the things that I, I reflect on a lot is you know, social media kind of grew up with the smartphone. Yes. Right? So Facebook got, I started it in 2004. Um, I think Apple was probably already working on their iPhone design by then. It came out in 2007. So, you know, we didn't really get to shape what the smartphone was. No. Um, you know, we built a lot of the most used experiences for it, but but it sort of co, uh, it, it grew at the same time. And because of that, I feel like the smartphone sort of grew in a way that it's somewhat limiting in terms of the, the type of social experiences that you could have. I, I feel like there's a lot of things that I would love to build that, that we can't build because we're we're kind of constrained into this, you know, little rectangle and, and policies that some other companies set. So that's part of, for me, why I have so much passion about helping to bring about this next platform shift and accelerating it. Because I think the sooner we get to virtual and augmented reality, um, the better, the more magical these social experiences are gonna be. And, and I just think, um, you know, our platforms should be designed around people interacting with each other. I think that's like how we process the world as people. And um, and that's just not how, how phones are designed. They're designed around apps today. Yeah, uh, but right. I think, you know, going back to your first question about um, NFTs and Web3, um, I think the atomic unit in the metaverse is going to be about um, you and, and, and kind of the your stuff and your friends and your connection, right? So you're gonna you're gonna have your avatar and you're gonna have your digital clothing and, and your digital tools. And unlike apps today um, that are kind of all designed to be a little bit siloed and you have to do all this extra work to get them to work together, um, in the metaverse, I think it's gonna be fundamentally more interoperable where your your fundamental experience is that you are embodied in your, your identity, your digital avatar, all your stuff. And I think as a, you know, as a user of this, your natural expectation is gonna be that you can bring all your stuff um, in between all these experiences very seamlessly. So I, I think that that's gonna be really exciting. And I just wanna help bring that about as soon as possible. Mark, question I've been dying to ask you. You know, when, when I, there was two things that happened to me during that era. Farmville on Facebook, oh my God, people are buying these digital sheep because they want the social currency to show their friends they're good at it. And then, and those were the first times I was like, oh my God, People are gonna buy virtual things, virtual currency. Was it natural for you to believe in what's happening right now with NFTs because of the things like Farmville that happened on your platform? Well, I've always been a pretty big believer in virtual goods. So I think from that perspective, yeah. But I think a lot of the, the magic of, um, of NFTs and a lot of the Web3 work is that it's designed in a way to be fundamentally interoperable. So. I think that that's going to be really important because it'll help break down these silos between different apps and make it so that all your stuff can be just, um, you know, more portable Yours. between these different experiences, which I think increasingly is what people are going to expect. 